I want to familiarize you with a web term, and that term is wireframe. And I have a file set up here to help you understand the basics of a wireframe. So I want to show you how you can convert your design into a wireframe. Now, when we're converting and letting fireworks do the work for our website or web design conversion into a web page, we don't have to be too concerned about creating a wireframe by hand. But I want to familiarize you with the term wireframe, and it gives me a way to kind of show you how a browser understands pieces of a web page. So what I have open is Design Final Wireframe from the course files, and I'm going to reduce this down in size to 66%, just so I can show this to you a bit easier. I'm also going to right-click this Properties area and say Close Tab Group to close this lower section of the page. So I'll close that tab group so I can view the entire page. Now ultimately, this is what my web design is reduced to by Fireworks when I go to convert this to a web page. And if I double click the Optimize tab here, the word Optimize, so that I have a little more space for my Layers panel, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. If I click the arrow in front of these folders here, I can close up my Layers area so you can get a better idea of what's going on within this file. Now my Wireframes folder is up at the very top. If I turn off that Wireframes, you can see here's my design. So what does a wireframe do? Well, when you go to think about your web page, what you want to do is think about your page as being a sequence of boxes. So here's my wireframe boxes turned back on by clicking this area. Now, the idea behind these is each piece of content on a web page sits inside a box on a web page. So what these boxes are are simply areas of the page defined by a different color. And when we work in HTML and CSS, we define a box by creating a div tag in HTML and giving that box a name using an ID in CSS. And that's all a bit beyond the scope of this class because when we're working in Fireworks, we don't really have to worry about it. But if you can start thinking about your designs for your web pages in terms of a box, you can see this header image up here would be one box. So if I turn off all these others, you'll see my header is a box and my nav bar is another box. So if you can begin to look at your pages in terms of boxes, that's ultimately what Fireworks is going to create for you is all of these boxes automatically. And that's a beautiful thing. So as you can see, each one of these is named. As I turn on these boxes, you can get a better idea of the different content areas within a web page. But a wireframe is simply a way to visually display these boxes. And what you can do is just create boxes on top of your designs, and that allows you to get an idea of how the web page is going to be laid out. So a wireframe is just an overview of the various boxes within your web page. I don't have to worry about those wireframes specifically and create them myself, but ultimately, that's what Fireworks is going to do for me. It's going to set up all of these different content boxes, and it's also going to determine where those boxes should be positioned so that the web page we end up with looks like our original design right here. And let me just increase this to 100%. 
Here is our web page design. And what we're going to do is add color to these boxes. We'll curve the corners of the boxes, add drop shadows to the boxes. And that's ultimately what creates your web page. So that's just an overview of what a wireframe is. When working in fireworks, we don't have to manually create them, but I like to at least expose you to the concept of what a wireframe is, because ultimately that's exactly what fireworks is doing, is taking all of your content areas, setting them up as boxes, and just converting that information into code to tell the browser to display your web page. So that's a brief overview on the term known as a wireframe.